<laughs> hey, how's it going? Um, oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but my stand is just all, I don't want to stay still. I'm going to just try not to knock into it with my legs. <clears throat> so, hi. It's Friday. <clears throat> and I just came on to... I mean, I think it's going to be quick because I didn't, like, prepare anything. It's just sort of very spontaneous. And I got a hair in my mouth now. Excuse me. So what I wanted to talk about, because I did want to pop on and talk about a, a few things. I want to talk about my day, actually. So I am a person who... Ah. Uh, <laughs> Flurry is ginger. Anyway... I, I, I have a tendency to have a temper, but I'm not as likely to, like, lose it as I was when I was, like, you know, in my teens and 20s, and that was a conscious decision, like, a long time ago. It had nothing to do with any woo-woo stuff. It was just kind of like, man, you got to rein that shit in, people. <laughs> people do not like it. <clears throat> and you want to be around people from time to time, at least. So, anyway, <clears throat> it was kind of like work had been done on it. But there is still the tendency to get frustrated, and I've had to... I feel like it's like on a notch system and and there's a dial involved, but I have been notching, you know, uh, what is that word that drives me crazy in politics? Incremental. I have been incrementally notching toward not having a tendency to blow up. And over the period of time between now and when I was in my 20s and like early 30s or whatever, that's what I've been doing. And so it's imperfect. I haven't conquered the part about not, you know, blowing up entirely. But boy, I mean, has this been happening to you this year? More things have been like, hi, I'm just going to screw up your whole program right while you're all happy and in the middle of it. <laughs> or I'm going to interrupt you a million times. And... <laughs> It's happened a million ways. Like, I have a cat. I've had a cat for, like, over a decade. And <clears throat> I acquired this other one that was just kind of hanging around. Somebody had abandoned him, and I had water out there. And I would put out food that... Well, anyway, you know, I would put food out there for, like, the raccoons or whatever. And um, this kit kitten started coming around, and I had been thinking, like, man, my other cat needs a friend, and I would love to have a kitten to play with, and this kitten appears, so, uh, he, he's now, he lives here, and the thing about him I noticed right away was, he is so sensitive to my emotions, like, if I get at all agitated, or stuff like my mood will change like things are going okay and then like gradually incrementally I can notch toward frustration and well I don't think I have to explain to most people that would be watching this you know the chain of events or progression that can happen when you go from irritated to frustrated to annoyed you know what I'm saying <clears throat> And I have to do all of them, I guess. So I guess that's what I'm working through each each setting. But that cat can just tell. Like, he showed up on one of many occasions now where I was, like, maybe I had just sat down to eat. And I had fed that cat and the other cat and I thought everything would be all taken care of and then all of a sudden I'm like ah, and can't even get it in my mouth and they're like I need you or let me break something or let me make a huge mess that you know you're going to have to walk away from your food and it's going to be cold and the moment is going to be gone and that is what oh, that's been my lesson over and over do I lose my mind <laughs> 
and start throwing food. Not that I would do anything to the cats or anything, but I mean, it just comes up so strong, so fast, and it's like, wow, it's really hard to control. So this cat, he has, to, oh, sorry about that. He has a way of like being an interruption machine. And this one time, this is what I started to say first, this one time I was asleep. I don't know if he woke me up or I had just fallen asleep, but the way that he wants to get in, like I sleep right next to a sliding door so it has a big screen on it. And he just throws himself at the screen. So it's very startling when it's like the wee hours and you're trying to sleep and everything's wound down. It's just like, whoa, whoa, bam! <laughs> I was like, God damn it. Sorry, I can do a curse warning. Hi, there may be, uh, you know, accidental curses <laughs> for your entertainment. <laughs> and yeah, it just, I was so mad, but I was like, okay, calm down. And I let him in and I went, opened the door to let him in. And he was gone. He was like eight feet away and he was looking at me all crouched down and in the front, like, are you going to scream at me? I was like, holy crap. I didn't even say any, like I, I, whatever I said, I mean, it's a storm door. You can't easily hear through it. So, I mean, he must have felt that through the door and I had to like, he wouldn't come in. I had to close the door and totally calm down. And then he came back and was like, oh my God. And remember he had woken me up at this point. So, Again and again, it's like now you have the opportunity to decide to act like a nice person and like not let everything just totally get under your nails and ah, you know. And I thought that like, oh my God, that's what he's here to do. He's here to be my barometer. <laughs> so I really have been having to like. You know, okay, don't flip out curvy emotions. So today, the cat thing is just a part of it. And it's not like my other cat isn't totally receptive too. Like, you know, he is aware of my storms <laughs> and he does not like it either. And it's between the two of them, it's like, oh my God, get it together. <laughs> so today, again, I had to go and pay my phone bill at the phone store. The, this phone that I'm filming you on, or filming me on right now. <laughs> and you can call, right? Because I don't always have a ride and it's, I can't really cross boulevards in my wheelchair. It's too slow and people just want to, you know, me out of the way. <clears throat> so I don't feel safe doing it. And I have to wait for a ride, which is three days a week during the week. And it's only for a few hours. So I have like a limited time that I can go for a ride. So I called and it costs a little bit more, but it's like I wanted to get my business stuff taken care of for the month. And I tried to use their automated server and they said, oh, well, we're, we have a new automated and voice system. And I was like, oh, joy. <laughs> Cause I love those. <laughs> those are like, Ooh, boy, if I want to do some of these exercises, let me call Comcast. <laughs> That's a test of will not to lose, just, you know, come away bald because your hair just burned off. <laughs> so, yes, I get on there. And I had to try four times before I got to the end because either the voice would work or the number punching would work or both would, or neither would. It was like, I had to do it four times and I get to where I thought was the end, but I learned today it wasn't, but I was close. And it stopped being able to hear me. And I was like, I have stopped being able to care if I paid for this right now, which is something I had to learn to do. I, I don't know, sometimes I would call back, you know, and. I finally learned that that doesn't work for, but even the machine, even the automated system doesn't like it when you get all frustrated because 
if you have any kind of emotion in robot mode, it's all, it doesn't understand you. Like if you're all, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't understand. So it's like, yeah. And by the time I'm done with it, I, I need to like be unconscious or something. It's like too much. So uh, I had called, it didn't work. And I was like, I'll just wait until my ride is here and I will go into the store to pay. So by this time, it's late. And also, I had set up the last month auto pay because I was in the store and getting this phone, which is a new phone. And so it was usually when you set up a payment thing, they bill you on the day you start. So it was the day after I got paid, I get paid once a month, and it was the day after I get paid. <clears throat> and they started calling for it, you know, three days before. And then on the second day, when I wasn't paying it, they're all, you can't do auto pay with us. And like, Shh, kicked me off, <laughs> which is why I was calling. It's annoying. It's like, why, why did you wait until wait to charge me before the month was over. Like, I don't know. I didn't even talk to anybody about it. I was like, fine, I'm not doing that. <clears throat> I don't like it anyway. <clears throat> I don't like it anyway, in case that was a mumble. So we go to the store and it, they were there, but the computer was down so they couldn't do anything. I was like, oh, uh, okay. And uh, they were all, by the way, late, and I'd already gotten in the store, I'm just going to repeat what I just said because I started going so fast, I couldn't understand it. In the store, they said, yeah, our computers are down, so we can't do anything. And by the way, you're late, which I already knew because on the way there, I had gotten two texts from the automated system saying, hey, you might want to try auto pay. And that was kind of funny. So I said, okay, let that be funny and don't be annoyed by it. And... We just didn't, we weren't able to do it that day. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm gonna have cash for the month. But today I decided to try it again because I couldn't do anything until the phone got a payment. It wouldn't let me record properly. So I had to go to the store and pay the bill. With a smile, well, I didn't even go in. <laughs> and then we did guess, guess what the computer was down again <laughs> and I was like okay you're just not going to get annoyed by that just breathe and think about something else <laughs> and my caregiver comes out and she goes she just whips out her car she goes I'll just pay for it I have the cash so whatever I'll <laughs> and, she, and she was already irritated so I was just trying to be calm, and I was at that point. I was kind of over. It was like, if I don't pay it, I don't pay it. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna have a heart attack over it. But she was having, she, <laughs> she wasn't having it, <laughs> and uh, she had to do it a few times. And because the bill wasn't paid, the why there was no Wi-Fi, and so she. She goes, okay, I'll turn on the hotspot on my phone and we'll use that for Wi-Fi. So that worked, but she had to do it. I think she also got to the fourth time, but she, I learned, went further. It, the call actually went further than I went than when I thought it was over. <laughs> um, and wow, man, she almost lost it. And I'm just sitting there like trying to emanate calm and like, because I... One of the things that happens when I get all like excited uh, with you know like frustration, light bulbs go. Uh, I've messed up computers, getting too emotional. Televisions get all wonky. But conversely, <clears throat> when my TV starts buffering, because sometimes Comcast goes on a buffer fest on you the weekend, I. Just one day, I was like, just try to be calm and be calm at it. Like, <laughs> fix it with your mind. I, it, I just sat there and breathed and I closed my eyes and it was just all, like, I was just all, just think like you're like underwater. I'm like, under underwater in a kilt forest, very calm and relaxed and breathing. And 
TV came on. So now every time it does it, I do something like that. And rarely does it not come back within like under a minute, you know, like seconds. <laughs> enough, you know, I've done it enough times to where it's like, okay, that works. And I know like getting overexcited creates one kind of atmosphere and being calm creates another and calm is conducive to happy. <laughs> so she's kind of getting upset with the phone system and she's like cursing at it and I'm not reacting and then, oh my God. <laughs> she's actively on the phone, talking to the phone and this guy comes up and he's on a phone and he starts talking to her and I'm like, oh my God. If that were me at that point, I, I don't know that I would not have just lost it on him. And she's like, ah, oh, can't you? She didn't say, can't you see? But she just looked at him when he first started talking and it's a withering look. And he, he was trying to be helpful was the thing. But she's like, I'm on the phone and <laughs> rolled up her window. But that made her laugh and that broke the tension. And we got the call through. <laughs> oh my God. Bill obviously got paid because, hi, here I am. So um, I just wanted to share that with people because I know right now is kind of a gnarly time. And um, I just, you know, it's really easy to control the world around you directly more so than it is like getting uh, excited like about stuff that you really can't do anything about except <clears throat> like I said getting excited and upset creates a type of atmosphere so everybody thinking about stuff like Ukraine or the committee thing, which I haven't even watched. I don't even really know what's going on. I, I know that, I mean, I've seen a couple of clips, but it's not like it was anything that I haven't seen already. <clears throat> I haven't seen really much of what, you know, uh, happened during the, what do you call it, the proceedings? <laughs> anyway, and it is good. <laughs> I'm glad that, you know, anything else has been helpful to think about than something that while I'm interested in it it gets me all aggravated so those are my technique cues for dealing with my crazy and <laughs> I just wanted to share them with you because I think probably a lot of people are also woo and totally know what I'm talking about and people are a little bit woo woo and kind of know and some people are just like why am I crazy <laughs> so whoa <clears throat> I'm not going to try to explain all the reasons why you could be crazy um, but I will say here's some techniques to maybe help <laughs> help deal with it anyway that is all I wanted to say happy happy, <laughs> happy. thank you and good night <laughs>